Is it possible to get prepared without spending a lot of money? Never pay retail, that's my motto. Hey guys, it's Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Welcome back everyone. How's everyone doing? If you're new here, welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. Today I'm sharing a prepper pantry haul with you all and everything in today's haul was bought on clearance. Probably the two biggest obstacles that people face when it comes to preparedness are space and finances. Space meaning where are you gonna store everything, your food and your other preps. And finances being, how are you going to afford to build up a stockpile of everything you may need in the event of a short or especially a long-term emergency situation? We've got to find ways to overcome those obstacles because look around you folks, things are getting crazier and crazier out there. We really are not living in the same world that we were four years ago by any stretch of the imagination. We really need to get our business in order before it's too late. I'm sure if you're here, you probably feel the same sense of urgency that we do about this. So overcome whatever has been holding you back. If it's space, there's many different ways you can find or create space inside and outside your home. We'll be doing a video on that in the near future, so make sure you're subscribed if that's something that interests you. Finances is something that's a little harder to control, but there's always ways to work with what you've got. I always like to make my money stretch as far as it possibly can. There's lots of ways to do this, but one way that I do it is by shopping clearance whenever I can. I always hit the clearance aisles, keep an eye out for clearance prices, and if I'm shopping online, I always check for a clearance section or a big sale. So let's take a look at what we've added to our prepper pantry from the clearance section, and I will share with you some of the little secrets I use to save money when I'm clearance shopping. Now I'm gonna start over here with all this jerky. I hit the mother load of jerky. You know we love jerky at our house and we love it for our prepper pantry. It's a really great um, shelf stable protein source. It's very light and portable. It's easy to pack in any type of kit that you need to pack some emergency food in. The only thing you wanna watch out for is make sure you have access to plenty of fresh water because it is salty. Most of this jerky is this spicy dill pickle. This is good stuff. It's pork jerky. And these were marked down to $2.20. I try to aim for paying no more than a dollar an ounce for jerky. And this is 2.85 ounces for $2.20. So that fit the bill. I grabbed several package of this when I saw it. I only grabbed a few because I wasn't sure um, you know how I was gonna like the flavor but as soon as I got out to the car I opened one up and tried it and it was so good it's super tender it's spicy but not like unbearably spicy it's just I love the flavor so I went right back in the store and bought a whole bunch more and I didn't buy this all in the same trip but the next time when I went back the next day I grabbed a few more and I think I did grab a few more the next time as well I do have a few of these jerkies over here now this is um, this box was marked at $3.49 and I thought that really isn't that great of a deal for jerky. But here's one of my tips. Your smartphone is going to be your best friend when you're clearance shopping, especially in Walmart. The reason to use your Walmart app to check the prices is that even if things are well marked in the clearance aisle, sometimes there's been an additional markdown that has not been stickered. And so if you scan things, if I see something that, you know, isn't a great deal, but I'm interested in the item, I will scan it. And a lot of times it's been marked down again and they just don't, haven't had a chance to mark it yet. So you can find some good deals that way by scanning items with your Walmart app in the store. So I scanned one of these packages and this was not the right price for these packages. These were only $1.12. So I thought that was an awesome deal. There wasn't as many of these. So I grabbed several, um, that price was actually for this, the steak strips, and there was only one package of those left, but I did think that that was worth paying a little bit more for because we do like those. But I got all the rest of the Wild Heat um, packages that there were because $1.12 was a really good price. And we do snack on jerky on an everyday basis, so we will definitely go through this, but I try to buy as much as I can when I can find it on clearance or on sale in hopes that this is gonna last us through until I can find another good deal. And so hopefully I never have to pay retail on something like jerky. Now this right here, this is one of my favorite deals that I have up here today because this was a money-making deal. You know I say if you can get something for free, absolutely take it. And if you can make money buying something, that's even better. These were in the clearance aisle and they were marked at $1.50 on the shelf. They caught my eye because I do really like things like this. I love coconut chips and things. So they caught my eye. And the other thing that I always have open when I'm shopping in the clearance aisle is my Ibotta app because Ibotta has a great feature where you can scan the barcodes and see if it matches up to any rebates. So that's another tip is anytime I'm in the clearance aisle, I always have my Ibotta app open 
It's really quick and easy to just scan um, the barcodes of items that you see in the clearance aisle and compare them to different rebates. And a lot of times you find money makers this way. You just open up Walmart in the Ibotta app and you go to the search bar and over on the right side of the search bar, you'll see a little barcode icon. You just touch that and you can scan any barcode and it will bring up any rebate that attaches to that item. And so I scanned this and I found out that there was a $2.50 rebate on these items and they were only marked at $1.50. So obviously I grabbed them. So I paid $3 for these two packages and I got back $5, which means I made $2 on this deal and $2 that could go towards something else for my prepper pantry. I could have done this three times, but unfortunately there were only two packages on the shelf, so I only got to do it twice. If you have Ibotta, check your app because I just, just did this. It'll be a few days by the time this video is edited, but this deal may still be active. So check your Ibotta app and check your clearance aisle and see if you can find any of these snacks. If you don't have Ibotta or you don't know what it is, I will have a link down in the description box if you wanna check it out. But this was a great moneymaker deal. Anytime you get a moneymaker, you should go for it. Even if it's not something that you like, you can donate it, you can give it as a gift, you can do anything, and then you're still making that extra money. The next thing that I got is a whole bunch of granola bars, these two different kinds. These are just the great value version of like a Nature Valley um, brand, but we do eat both of these, or the kids do, people in the family eat both of these. We go through a lot of these, so finding these for less was awesome for me. So I got seven boxes of this one. I got nine boxes of this one. These were $2.50. And these were, I think, $2, which was a really good deal. I did use my phone. I was able to check um, the price at the warehouse clubs that we sometimes buy these at and make sure this was a good deal. And I did go down the aisle and check um, the price on the other packs, the other size packs of these at Walmart to make sure that that was a good deal. And it was. So that's another tip is use your other store apps to check prices um, at other stores and make sure that you're getting a good deal when you're clearance shopping. Because just because something's marked on clearance doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a good deal. It really depends. But these will last us for a good long time. Um, I try to stock up on at least six months of snack foods. Um, one thing that I've heard all kinds of people say if they've been through an emergency where they had to eat out of their food storage, so many people say a lesson they learned is they would want to have more snack foods. We try to have one to two years worth of food in our home at least, but with snack foods, I have found just from experience that you really can't store it that long. Most types of snack foods, crackers, granola bars, they're gonna tend to get stale or rancid um, more, a little more quickly than some of the other foods. So we try to keep at least a six month supply that we rotate through. So next I picked up a bunch of these bags of mint fudge um, baking chips. For some reason, at some point after the holidays, my store always clears these out. And I don't know why, because I do think that they carry these all year round. Maybe I'm wrong because I always buy them on clearance, so I don't have to buy them um, during the year. But these are really great in brownies. They're great in cookies. And I have melted these and used these to make like a mint chocolate Muddy Buddies. Um, I've made like a leprechaun snack mix back when my kids were little and they got impressed by things like that. Now they're teenagers, so they could care less. But we do like the mint chocolate flavor, so we use these in a lot of things. These were $2 a bag, which wasn't an amazing deal, but it was better than paying full price. And now we have plenty of them to get us through the year. Now these six items from Thrive Life, these are all freeze dried fruits and these were all 50% off. These are all um, items that we use a lot of, especially the strawberries and the mangoes. My kids love those for snacking. We use these for things like smoothies and all sorts of things. And so to get them for 50% off was really awesome. I actually literally probably couldn't have freeze dried them myself for that price. Now these are all fruits. I did get um, three cans of the strawberries. There's another can of strawberries underneath. I got two cans of the mango. Those are two that we love to snack on. The kids absolutely love those. And then I did get one can of the cranberries because it was a good price. And these, in my opinion, it says that they're sweetened, but in my opinion, they're too tart for snacking. So I use these for baking and things like that. I know a lot of people um, say to us, we would love to add more freeze dried food to our prepper pantry, but we just can't afford it. When it's just like anything else, you just have to keep an eye on prices buy um, when the price is low. Thrive Life does have three big sales during the year where they mark certain things 50% off, but this was not one of their planned sales. This was kind of like a flash sale. It was a special New Year's thing that they just um, kind of put out at the last minute. So if you want to make sure that you're always aware of the sales that are going on, you can go to the website down in our description box and register for a customer account, and then you will get emails 
whenever there's a big sale. Then you can take advantage of the best prices and stock up when the prices are low. If you're like me and you're not very good at keeping up on emails, you can even sign up for text alerts um, to get alerted to the sales. I will put the number down on the bottom of the screen here and I'll put it in the description as well. And you can just text sale to this number and it'll put you on a list to get text alerts whenever there's a big sale. Another thing that's worth mentioning, and I have done videos on this before, some of my shop for free videos, if you've ever seen those, I have talked about the referral program that Thrive Life has, where every customer has their own personalized link that they can share. If you know anybody who would be interested in freeze-dried food, whether it's for their prepper pantry, whether it's just for their kids' snacks, whether it's for backpacking or camping, or maybe they would be interested in the shelving that Thrive Life offers if they're big organizers and this could be anybody it could be your coworker, your mother you know somebody on Facebook it could be anybody share that link and typically if someone orders through your link you're going to get 10% of their purchase in free credit to use for yourself but for the month of February they have a special promotion going on where you actually get 30% of your referral orders in free credit. So that can add up to some serious free credit. And the amazing thing about that is you don't even have to have made a purchase yourself to take advantage of that. You can just go register for an account. And even if you've never made a purchase, you have that link. You can share that link with anyone. And anyone who purchases off of it, if it's their first time purchase from Thrive Life, you're gonna get 30% of that for the month of February. So that's an amazing way to get some food for absolutely free. That's absolutely the best food you can put in your prepper pantry. So the next items that I have over here, um, these are a few items that came from Save-A-Lot and Dollar Tree. They're not actually from Walmart. Most of my stuff is from Walmart here, but there's these few items that aren't, like the Thrive Life. And then these dressings here were from Dollar Tree. They were marked down to 50 cents. Um, this is a creamy Caesar. We do use this. This is a good deal at 50 cents. So I grabbed a few of these. Um, these were from Save A Lot and they were marked down to a dollar, which is a good deal for this size of bottle. And these are dressings that we use, ranch and blue cheese. And then back here, this is interesting. This is a brine, a turkey brine and rub kit. Now I gotta be honest, I have never um, actually brined a turkey before, but my brother-in-law often brings the turkey to our family gatherings and he brines it and it's amazing. And so I've been telling myself I really need to start brining my turkeys. And so when I saw this, I was pretty um, intrigued. This is normally $7, so I think $2 was a pretty good price for this because this includes a buttery poultry rub, a brining mix, everything you need to mix up the brine. And it says a he heavy duty brining bag and twist tie. I don't know that I'd do it in a bag or if I would just do it in like a bucket or a tub of some sort. But in any case, it's pretty heavy. So you can tell there's quite a bit of ingredients in here. So I think $2 for this was a really great price. So I did get eight of these. Seasonings are going to stay good for a really, really long time. And we do eat turkey several times a year, not just on Thanksgiving. I usually buy them at Thanksgiving when they're super cheap, throw them in the freezer and we have them throughout the year. So these Taco Bell um, uh, dinner kits here, these were another Save-A-Lot item. These were marked at $2.49 and then they had a dollar off sticker on them. So that made them uh, $1.49, which is just barely over, just a few cents more really than buying just the taco shells of the Great Value brand. So I figured for the additional like few cents, it was worth it to get also taco seasoning and taco sauce. So I got five of these. And now I'm back to Walmart for the rest of my items. This was just a Mirin cooking wine. It was marked to $1.25. I don't use this very often, but I know I have some recipes that use this and something like this is going to last forever. So I might as well save money on it and get it for less when I can. Then when I need it, I'm not gonna have to buy it at regular price. Now here I've got a few things from the pasta and pizza aisle. I walked into this aisle the other day and it was full of clearance stickers and that's another little tip is that Walmart tends to clear out certain departments or certain aisles and sections you know all at once at certain times of the year so if you walk into an aisle this wasn't in the clearance aisle because they were clearancing out so many different items they're probably going to reset that aisle so I walked in I saw a clearance sticker check the whole aisle because you'll find a whole lot of things that are on clearance now I was actually a little late to the party this time and the aisle was really cleaned out you can see there was some really good deals and it's mostly cleaned out so this was really all that I got I got this one box of whole grain lasagna noodles, which we do use. Um, we prefer whole grain pasta if we can get it. So we'll definitely use that. And then I got these six jars of ragu pizza sauce. These were 98 cents. So that was a pretty decent deal. We do use quite a bit of pizza sauce. 
not only making homemade pizzas, but we also, um, I have recipes that use these, you know, pasta bakes and things like that. I just made a pizza tortellini bake the other night that was really, really good and used a jar of pizza sauce like this. So I was glad to at least find a few good deals in this aisle, even though I missed quite a bit of it. That's one thing with, um, people doing a lot more online shopping now. I do a lot of pickup orders and I really try to get in the store every time, even if I'm picking up my groceries, I try to park and go in just to check out the clearance, get the few items I might've forgotten to put on my pickup. But sometimes I'm just so busy that I don't go in and I know I'm missing out on clearance deals and it really kind of upsets me. I gotta do a better job of actually getting into the store more often. So back here, I've got one last snack item. I've got, I got two boxes of these. There's one underneath. These are the Sweet Chaos Drizzled Popcorn. I've been getting these at Dollar Tree for my family as a snack because Dollar Tree's been having some really cool flavors. Um, the first one I got was at Halloween and it was a, um, a candy corn flavored and everybody loved that. I just got it for them for like a Halloween treat and they loved it. So now I've been getting these whenever I see them at Dollar Tree. They have like holiday ones. They had um, gingerbread at Christmas time and chocolate peppermint. But at Dollar Tree, they're $1.25. So I found this flavor, which is a cake batter flavor. Sounds pretty good. And they were only 42 cents on clearance at Walmart, down from $1.48. And let's face it, $1.48 or even $1.25 is really a lot for a single size serving of um, popcorn. So I was really glad to find these for 42 cents. That's another one that's gonna help bulk up our um, six months worth of snacks that we try to have. And of course, this is all on a rotating basis because we do rotate through everything that we store. We don't um, have anything that we put away and you know, just lock up for emergencies only because you're just gonna have stuff that's gonna go bad if that happens. So we work our way through everything, new stuff goes at the back and then we rotate through and we use things. And these last few things that I got, I did get a few, um, these are some little mini hauls like cough drops but they're in a little package and they're little teeny ones and i really like things like this because you know they're easy to carry around with you so i did grab um three of these i really love things that are small and portable because let's face it part of preparedness is having what you need when you need it and it's kind of impossible to carry around a full um you know, first aid kit with you everywhere. So anything I can get in smaller packages or smaller sizes, I love. So then the final few items here were just a few um, shampoo and conditioner items, personal care items. We definitely try to keep a lot of this kind of stuff on hand. And we go through a ton, especially conditioner because of having a lot more girls in the house with long hair. And sometimes when they're clearing out the shampoo and conditioner aisle, I'll end up with bags and bags and bags of really good deals. But this was um, not one of those times. There was just a few items that I thought were worth purchasing. These herbal essences were $3.55. There was an I bought a rebate for these. It was $3 back on two, which made two of these $3.55. So about $1.75 a bottle. That was worth it to me. This Dove was a little bit more expensive, but it's um, like a dry itchy scalp kind of one. And we do have family members who struggle with that in the winter. So I thought that was worth um, getting. And then this is just um, a, a regular Quate shampoo. This was a really large bottle. So I figured this was worth picking up. Now, when you're clearance shopping, make sure you don't overlook other sections of the store, like the produce and the meat section and the frozen, because those types of foods have to stay in their climate controlled area. So they're not gonna be found usually in the clearance aisles, but you can find some good deals. And if you can preserve it for later, you can add it to your prepper pantry. Our save a lot when they have a bunch of overripe bananas, they'll put a whole big box of bananas and mark it to, it's $1.50 now. It was a dollar for the longest time and they've had to raise the price on that. So it's $1.50, but I got this whole big box of bananas for $1.50. And this was after I gave a couple of bunches to a friend of mine. She only wanted a couple of bunches. So I let her take what she wanted. And then I took the rest home to preserve. And I ended up making all of this um, out of that box of bananas I made a bunch of banana jam and monkey butter which is like a banana pineapple coconut um, jam I got six of each of those jars plus there's a couple jars that we put right in the fridge to eat right away and then I also made this caramelized cinnamon banana butter and I got eight of these pint and a half jars of just plain mashed banana they do have a little bit of lemon juice added um, just for the acidity but other than that, it's just mashed banana. If you remember, I just bought these pint and a half jars recently in one of my hauls and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but I did find a perfect use because this holds a cup and a half and that's how much mashed banana one loaf of my banana bread recipe uses. So I used to mash up the extra banana and put it in the freezer for banana bread, but it gets really disgusting and I tend to not wanna use it that way. 
So I'm hoping that this will be easier and nicer to use in banana bread. I haven't had a chance to try one yet, but this is the first time that I've tried canning the mashed banana. But I'm hoping that this is gonna make it easy to throw together a loaf of banana bread at any time. So I got all of these jars of banana related preserves out of that $1.50 box of bananas. And then I also just found all of this Italian sausage marked down. Now the sad part is this is the price that I used to consider my absolute top price I would pay. And now with the way that the prices have been going up, this is the price that I am searching and hunting and waiting for because I will not buy um, sausage for over $3 a pound. But I grabbed a bunch of these packages. In fact, there were a lot of other sausages marked down with clearance stickers that were still over $3 a pound, which was pretty sad. But I got a bunch of these packages. I'm gonna try freeze drying some of this and I might can some of this. And we also have um, some family favorite pasta meals that use this in it. So I'm gonna try making up some of those meals and freeze drying them for individual servings. So that's another way that you can save money stocking up your prepper pantry. Okay guys, that's all the clearance deals that we picked up to add to our prepper pantry. Thank you for watching this video today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let us know by clicking the like button down below. Here at Wicked Prepared, we are all about preparedness and self-reliance. We love to show you our prepper hauls, emergency kits we put together, favorite shelf stable recipes and ways to cook from your food storage. And we love to help people learn to rely on themselves a little bit more with videos on gardening, food preservation, food storage, and all the things. So if these things interest you, we invite you to subscribe and stick around a while. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a smiley face emoji down in the comments. And check out this video right here to see some different ways that I use to shop for free. I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.